guys Sensor Gaming in one of you today and today I made graves in Minecraft with it basically makes like a little grave with a tombstone wherever you die and uh, to demonstrate it I'm just gonna kill myself <laughs> and there you go it's a little grave it says grave above it you've got a little tombstone here little yeah just a little grave uh, it doesn't really have much of a you sorry use it doesn't like uh, get you give your items back put them in a chest that could be an optional thing to make, could be way more hard, because right now it's a pretty simple system. So I will show you right now um, how this all works, basically. So, it all starts with the uh, scoreboard objective you see on the right of my screen. It's basically constantly showing my health. Right now I've got 20 health, which is 10 hearts, or 20 half hearts. And this is just basically testing if my health is zero, because when my health is zero, I'm dead pretty simple simple as that and when that is uh, it does both of these well there are two types of armor stands I'm summoning I'm summoning three with the name of parts which are the parts of the grave and one that is called grave in which actually has the custom name visible that's why it says grave above it and uh, the one it summons all the other parts relative to and well, we're gonna get to that in a later command block, but this basically kills all armor stands named parts and all armor stands named grave. Basically killing uh, the other grave and destroying it before it spawns a new one. So yeah, that's basically it. And, what, and because of the names, the names I actually have so that it doesn't kill any other armor stands in your world. So, next we execute at a summon armor stand so first we summon the armor stand so this right now is not multiplayer friendly it only works in single player worlds it could be made multiplayer friendly if you added the scoreboard that sets your score to one when you're dead and zero when you're alive so that it only um it only summons the grave at the person with a score of one and then it uh, set your score back to zero when the grave is summoned you could do that kind of stuff but right now it's just a single player system only works in single player if there's more than two players in the world it will summon the grave at both of them even if only one of them dies that's probably what will happen but yeah here we have custom name grave so it's just a custom name grave and the custom name visible makes it so that you see the grave name visible even when the armor stand itself is invisible but as you can see that's not included in this command and that's for a reason so right now right here it's still visible uh, that's why when you die you really shortly see this armor stand appear that's that one next we have execute at e name is grave so we're not even specifying armor stand because we only have one entity named grave in this world uh, we are executing at that grave command uh, armor stand I mean we are summoning another armor stand with equipment uh, it has a stone slab on its head slot so we have the equipment right there you have to have the five curly brackets if the, even if the other ones are empty because otherwise it won't know that your me well this is supposed to be on his head and it won't work and next we have a head pose the pose is rotated 90 degrees in the x direction meaning that it points like this and it's uh, vertical face uh, like upwards the stone slab so yeah um, and then we have invisible one so that you don't see the arm stand and custom name part so that we can kill it off like with the command block in the beginning so yeah that's also why the stone slab is smaller they're all on armor stands and then I have two the exact same ones this one has a rotation of 180 degrees basically so that it's closer to the ground because get it is slightly floating getting it exactly on the ground just wouldn't work I just couldn't uh, get it like that but yeah this one's basically the same but it has a equipment and then the stone pressure plate as you can see the, these coordinates I can get pretty specific to get it right and then I have the stone pressure plate on top of there it's invisible and the pose of the head is 180 degrees so that's close to the ground custom name part this one is the exact same command but the Z corner is different because these are two stone pressure blades on top of armor stands and yeah also named parts so that we can kill it off later I mean, this is the reason you briefly see the armor stand when that's all done it makes the uh, grave armor stand invisible now why not just summon it invisible because for some reason that was really messing with the system 
and it wouldn't summon the armor stand at all or it just wouldn't become invisible it's really weird i don't know what the problem was but that seemed to have fixed it so as far as i know this system works uh yeah and why i went in the game of three here so that you can see the armor stand armor stands so yeah you see these two here with a 180 degree head head rotation because otherwise the snow slab would about be about here you can see that it is slightly floating I couldn't seem to fi quite fix that and then you can see this armor stand with uh, the head rotation as well and the grave armor stand so yeah that's basically armor stands in minecraft I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and all the commands will be in the description um, I was also trying to make a snapshot video some weird stuff happened but yeah uh, there will be another snapshot video I was actually planning to record that before this but the uh, things turn out otherwise gonna record that next gonna be up as well short and little snapshot video and uh hope you enjoyed the, the video and i'll see you guys in the next one